Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is February 5th, 2020. This is my 20th episode about 3D graphics, Intel TBB, OpenCL, Vulkan, Direct 3D12 using Microsoft Visual C++. In this episode, we will learn data structure for concurrency. More specifically, we will use TBB concurrent vector and we will also use source nodes in flow graphs. If you haven't watched my previous episode, episode 8, prime number test or primality test, please watch this video. In this video, we created a primality test function. We will use that function in this episode. By clicking this link, you can download the source code from our previous episode, episode 8. Show in folder, right click, unzip it, right click, rename, chain, source, node. Rename the folder, right click, copy, paste it to your working folder. This is my working folder, paste it. Also, I assume you have watched my previous two videos, episode 19 and episode 18. If you haven't watched my previous episode, episode 18, please double click this link and watch my previous video, episode 18, TBB Programs. Also, episode 19. I assume you have watched my previous two videos episode 18 and episode 19. Also, if you do not have Pro TBB, please double click this link. By clicking this button, you can download Pro TBB on your machine. In Pro TBB, page 89, please read this part of text. Also, PR36 using source node instead of loop. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio Code. Open your working folder. In folder 20 source node, click primes.cpp, right click, rename, source, hit enter. Control Home, Control V. Include tbb tbb dot h include tbb concurrent vector include tbb spin mutex include thread namespace flow tbb flow control end void test source node. Copy the function name, paste it in function main. Disable this part. Step 0. Create an instance of flow graph. Flow graph G using vector T TBB concurrent vector int. Step 1.1 Create a generator. Auto generator Auto It should be reference. Semantic return value. Now here base number int we will start with zero limit int 1000 don't forget mutable we need mutable because we will modify base number if base number is less than limit semantic return value semantic return value is the argument of this lambda plus plus base number return 
true that is the return value or semantic return value is valid so continue processing else return false end of the generation stop processing we defined a generator step 1.2 create a source node flow source node int source node we are creating an instance we need to provide g this graph then we need to provide generator generator is active initially inactive here the type of the semantic return value so this semantic return value here it is reference because this is semantic return type vector t primes an instance of tvv concurrent vector int step 2 create a function node called collect primes flow function node input value is int collect primes don't forget semicolon here the first parameter should be g graph defined here flow unlimited run this node in parallel we capture primes mutex here using mutex t tvv spin mutex mutex t mutex we capture the prime and the mutex it takes an argument int so auto i the type of i is constant int reference i create a block and here if is prime i then primes in place back i mutex t scoped lock lock mutex stream i thread id std this thread get id and there step 3 make edge between source node and the collect primes flow make edge source node collect primes step 4 activate the source node source node activate step 5 wait for all those to complete g wait for all now stream and l stream primes primes and there now in the command prompt dir cd chenny source not cl ehsc std c plus plus 17 source dot cpp fe m dot exe hit enter cls m so if we scroll up we can find that this id comes from here they are running in parallel 
this thread ID, this thread ID, this thread ID, they are different. That means they are running multiple threads. This lambda is executed in parallel because we specify the flow unlimited. Also note that these runs in parallel out of order. Okay? And the prime numbers are displayed here. Please note that 929 is prime number, 919 is prime number. They are out of order. If you want to sort them, primes before sort, then std sort, std execution, par unsequential, primes begin, primes end. We sort. I will copy once again, paste, primes after sort. We build again CLS M. So this is before sort. Please note that 79, 71, these are out of order. 71, 79, these are sorted. For more information about source node, please refer to this document and read this part of text carefully. I will upload complete source code to my website. By the time you watch this episode, you can double click this link and download the complete source code. If you like my video and give a lot of like buttons, I will completely cover ProTBB, this book. This book is 800 pages long. We will learn how to integrate programs with OpenCL. That means we use CPU-based parallelism using ProGraph and GPGPU-based parallelism using OpenCL. Please give like buttons to my videos, then I will show you more advanced techniques. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.